Hi. What has become known as the Windrush scandal isn't something that's been happening just for a few months. It's endemic, not just involving people of Caribbean origin either. Tellingly, it's reached a publicity crescendo with a 50th anniversary of Enoch Powell's River of Blood speech, giving the appearance of a sick celebration by Her Majesty's government, a foul mixture of Orwellian, Kafkaesque and Gestapo. If you are of working class immigrant background, how can you feel secure or safe? You don't even have to have a darker skin anymore to be worried, anxious, insecure with this toxic Brexit atmosphere. One privileged group won't, will remain untouched, won't find liberty, property under threat. This is the international wealthy buying up asset stripping industry and everything from leading football clubs, newspapers to the very skyline, darkened by their multi-million pound high-rise apartments. They won't be detained, expelled, denied entrance. It's said the government will do everything to protect, advance the interests and property of the international rich, even criminal Russian oligarchs. The Windrush scandal is just another attack on the working class by the state. The more we lay down and take it, from social cleansing to now ethnic cleansing, the more they will try it on in other directions, such as austerity, which can only incrementally increase to our absolute detriment. The British state, its machinery is racist, institutional or otherwise. It will always be so until it is uprooted by revolutionary upheaval. Having a Corbyn Labour government will make little or no difference. The Tory government, meanwhile, will continue to try it on, get away with it, because many of the population are foolish enough to believe them, even support them, as in time-honoured fashion they divide and rule us. Make no mistake, the further to the top, the more racist it becomes, as we are still, even in this age of neoliberalism, dominated by Etonians, aristocratic, landed gentry and the indigenous super rich who have never been toppled, even threatened by a bourgeois, let alone a proletarian revolution. Racism at the very top came during yet another cringing example of deference. Acquiescing to a request from the Queen, the Commonwealth leadership ensured the head of that organisation passes automatically to the future King Charles III. Within hours, he'd made a racist gaffe. The entire establishment rushed to his defence. A chip of the old block. The only block I'd like to see in regard to his future majesty is one that comes with an axe. Finally, don't be taken in by Theresa May and Amber Rudd's lying weasel words. Remember Grenville. Bye.